Love is the creative source of the universe in conjunction with concept. Love and strife and the elements balancing. Um, the earliest philosopher I'm aware of who talked like that was Empedocles in the very early 5th century BC. And I'm wondering, did Ficino know Empedocles directly, or does this all come by way of transmission through Plato? And no, I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did. I, I'm not as knowledgeable as you are or Ficino. Well, I'm not. But yes, they I, were reading all kinds of. I'm just not sure when the Empedocles fragments were dis rediscovered. Yeah, I, I don't know that he actually knew literally about Empedocles and knew what we need today. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Possible, Does anyone know yeah. when, when those things? I mean, I know, I know all the, the it's major. It's interesting. I would like to look at the century that you mentioned. Uh, 18th century, maybe? Yeah. I just want to say one more thing. Sorry. This is my book. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, hey. There you go. There you go. I have a box of them here. Thomas More wrote the foreword. I have an interview with Thomas More on my website. And uh, it's a beautiful picture book. It's $25. I will sign it if you would like to buy it. If not today, I will later have PayPal on my website, which I don't have right now. Thank when you, you mentioned so um, in, in the last painting that Pacino made a mirror to draw down the soul of the world, was that, I know they did astrological charts, you know, that they would contemplate to draw down those energies. Well, I was just saying this, this is like a mirror to draw down. So Not the painting itself, yeah, the pa where the painting itself is a portal. Yeah. That's what they say, uh, Francis Yates, who writes quite a bit mm -hmm. about this. Oh, yeah, I read it. Yeah, talked about, talks about it. And... For me, you know, with all this analysis of the symbolism, which of course is very extensive, I only, you know, talked about. Um, I, I don't. It's not even necessary. We just, you know, I was saying I, I just moved into a place. It felt weird and creepy. It's not my place. I have a beautiful paint uh, drawing by Raphael. I put it up. Immediately, the room changed. I changed. Right. So it's just look at it. You know, I don't get tired of looking at this. I'm I'm like I like somebody wants to eat the same thing every day, you know. I I want to look at this every day, you know. It's nourishment. Yeah. It's, it's nur yeah. it nourishes the soul. Yeah. It does. Yeah. It's supposed to offset the Saturnian influence, which is uh, the depression, the melancholy. Although Saturn is supposed to be, uh, you know, if you're born, there's a born under Saturn. If you're born under Saturn, it tends to make you more artistic and creative and philosophical. So it has its pluses, but it also. Saturn had a secret affair with Venus that no one knows about. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, but she had an affair with everybody. Well, no, well, with everybody. Right, but in Saturn's case, you know, Saturn is always dirty old, you know. Right, and dirty old this, man, yeah. And he actually, he actually, she actually had a civilized influence on him, so there's an aspect of Saturn I think that he well, one thing that, that I would um, add, I mean, I, I think, um, uh, Julianne, that, that, that you that you hit, you know, like some of the major correct images. Well, there's so many things. Kind of thing. There's a lot I of mean, stuff, it's but just the, the big ones. And, you, know, you got the big ones. So, yeah. So that's pretty cool. I, I, I would just say that I, I think there's, that the idea of Neoplatonism has actually kind of come under attack recently um, somewhat because it's really an academic distinction. And it almost does more harm than good if you're really trying to study the tradition, I think. Uh, this is just my you mean the word or what? The, the idea that there is such a thing that's different than Platonism. This is yeah. a scholarly thing where they, where they really work on the differences. And they work 110% on the differences, and they never talk about the continuities. <laughs> well, scholars uh, need to draw lines and, and establish periods. Scholars need to do that, right, periods, so they make their living. But that's not, if you're trying to use the system to get anywhere, to either create art or to, to affect well, your own no, life. I mean, during the, it was only help. called Neoplatonism so, later. Right, yeah. later during right. the Renaissance, exactly right. it was Platonism. It was yeah. Platonism. And even to the, Pla to the Neoplatonists, it was Platonism. It was Platonism. Yes. And they just yeah. felt that and Plato needed to be further explored. Well, well with them, the urgy, which is the big issue here, had been running parallel to Platonism right along, right since Egypt. Right, because you're talking about magic. You know, you yeah, because the, magic. Egyptian, the Egyptians 